Before we start on the grammar and the vocabulary of the first chapter, I'd like to say a few words upon translating Latin. There are some rules that you need to keep in mind and that you should really memorize if you want to make your life easier learning Latin. And here's rule number one. Most modern languages, like English, depend on word order for meaning. So what this means is that in English, there's a big difference between saying something like the hunter, let's say the hunter kills the bear. There's a big difference between this sentence and this sentence. The bear kills the hunter. Now, how do you know who is getting whom? Well, it's the word order. The hunter here comes first, and the bear comes after the, na the verb. Here, the bear comes first, and the hunter comes after the verb, and that's how we know who is doing what to whom. Now, Latin, unfortunately, well, or let's say for better or worse, is different. In Latin, you can put the subject first or last, depending on, this just depends on style. It has nothing to do with meaning or grammar. That is to say, Latin meaning, Lat the meaning of Latin words, or a Latin sentence, does not depend on word order or placement. Just forget about word order. So that is to say, you shouldn't necessarily start translating with the first word. You'll always want to find the verb first, in my opinion, at least. Where does Latin meaning come from? Well, the meaning of Latin words comes from the ending, that, or the termination of the word. The ending of the, of the word gives us what we call the function, telling us if the word is a subject, an object, a possessive, all that stuff. So in Latin, the translation of the sentence we looked at earlier is, Wenatua, that is the hunter. Wenatua, nekat, wasum. The hunter kills the bear. You can also write, wasum, nekat, wenatua. And it is the same sentence. The hunter kills the the bear. The word order here does not matter at all. The way you change this, if you want to make uasum, this, it depends on these endings here, the um. Uasus, right, that's the nominative. If we have a sentence with uasus, then it's the bear doing something. Now you might say, uasus nekat wenatorem. And you say, ah, now that's different then that word's different than that word. It has a different ending, when a torum. Now you say, ah, now this is the one receiving the action. So now it's the bear kills the hunter. That's how you tell, Latin, tell what a Latin sentence means. So you have to learn the endings, and you have to analyze each word by itself to figure out what it's doing in each sentence. So just a few notes here that I wanted to say about it before we move on.